Hi, this is Kimball Bullington, and I'm your instructor for this course, Management 3620, Supply Chain Operations. And supply chain management is the fastest growing program on the campus. We were going from like 17, I believe it was, students um, when we started two years ago to uh, just over 100 uh, to begin this semester. So um, welcome. And for those of you who are not, uh, uh, supply chain um, uh, concentration, then uh, I, I hope you'll consider joining us. About the end, end of this year, or actually by the beginning of next year, should have a major, supply chain management major, which is one of the um, uh, most in-demand majors, one of the most flexible in terms of what you can do um, that's offered in any business school. So let me give you a little bit of um, background on the course, what it looks like. Um, well, first I'll give you a little background on me. I've been in supply chain management in one way or another since about 1980, so 40 years. In the last 23 years I've been here uh, teaching at MTSU, and before that uh, worked in um, quality management, uh, operations, uh, supply chain management, procurement, and so on uh, for a number of different uh, companies, including some very large ones. Um, so you, if you go into the content, uh, it looks something like this, or should look just about like this, and you'll see a, a welcome, and it describes how to complete the course and how the course is laid out, and the course is laid out, I believe, in a way that's very consistent from module to module. Looking over here on the left, uh, we have an introduction section, and then we'll get down and we have seven modules in the course. And you see these over here. And each module, when you click it, uh, you'll see um, uh, resources and lectures, discussions, assignments, quizzes. Uh, and you'll see that format in, in um, each one of the sections. So it um, uh, should be easy to follow along. Let's take a look just real quickly at, at the syllabus. We pull the syllabus up. Um, there's a lot that we're required to put in the syllabus that are just general announcements. Here on page two, you'll see the textbook. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have the textbook here with me, but it's a paperback book, real thin. It's a custom book for this course. And it's very focused on what we're doing. Um, you have the course grading, and you'll see most of the grade comes from um, the assignments. Uh, we have uh, discussion grades, some quizzes, a final exam, uh, which is um, I'll, I'll talk more about uh, later, and then the grading. If you are late, then there's a, a reduction. This is automatic. When it says one day late, one day means from one minute late up until tw 23 hours and 59 minutes late. And then two day days late starts as soon as you're beyond one day late and so on. So it's a pretty big um, re reduction uh, in the grade. So um, don't, don't be late um, is all that's involved. And if something extraordinary comes up, let me know as soon as you can. Um, don't let me know like a week later. Let me know as soon as you know that there's there's an issue that could cause you to be late or something else. Scrolling down through here, um, there's a lot of different material. Uh, I do want to, to um, say up front, so this is a class that is web assisted and so we have an on-ground component and a web component. And the on-ground component we can't all meet because of social distancing at the same time, so there's going to be a Monday, Wednesday schedule. I'll send that out a little bit uh, later, right before class starts, on which day. If you've requested a day, right now you can assume that that's the day that you'll get if you have requested by email, um, and I've sent out an email on that. So the, the course content looks like this right now. We have seven modules and roughly two weeks per module. Uh, as we go through all classes end uh, on November the 25th. That's a Wednesday. Will we meet on Wednesday? Yes, we will. This this year. I know we didn't meet last year or the year before, but this year we're meeting on Wednesday. Um, 
let's see, uh, masks. Are masks required when you go into uh, um, on campus? Yes. Um, will I take that seriously? Yes, I will. Um, this is this is a matter of um, safety, and whether you believe it's safe or not, it's a matter of perceived safety by some. And so it, it is a campus policy that would absolutely require masks, and um, that is a policy I intend to take seriously. So if you do not intend to wear a mask, and wear, that, that means covering nose and mouth, then, um, uh, then talk to me about it. And um, I would prefer that you transfer to a section that is not, uh, does not have an on-ground component. If that's not possible, then, um, then talk to me. Uh, and the, the best option may be to just drop the course and take it another semester. But um, talk to me. But if you're on campus, absolutely, um, we will uh, enforce a policy uh, and... Um, uh, uh, and, and require the wearing of masks. Uh, I look forward to meeting with you. I look forward to um, hopefully sort of selling you on the idea of supply chain management. Uh, it's put food on my table and clothes on my children's backs uh, their entire lives. Um, and I've been able to carve out um, a career sort of in the areas that I wanted to work in which has changed as I've gone through my career. Uh, so uh, I believe there's tremendous flexibility in supply chain management, and I think you can find what you're looking for in that, as well as, as good paying local jobs. So welcome to the course. Uh, look forward to um, talking with you in person, and um, we'll see you soon.